Skywatch Media News for September the 23rd, 2020. A rogue space rock is about to make an incredibly close encounter with our world on September the 24th. Astronomers have announced that the asteroid will approach at a distance closer than some satellites. Although it is not expected to impact the Earth, its trajectory brings it close enough to where it will be influenced by the Earth's gravity. The approach of the asteroid, dubbed 2020 SW, will be a mere 0 .07 lunar distance, the equivalent of 17,556 miles. This is considerably closer than the average distance to the moon. Some of you may think this is a big distance, but to put this in context, most of the satellites orbit at a distance of just over 22,000 miles. What this means is that the approach of this asteroid will be so close that the gravitational pull of our planet will affect the space rock's path. Here are some other interesting, if not surprising, statistics about this asteroid. The debris field of this incoming asteroid is 33 feet in diameter. The asteroid is hurtling through space at 12,571 miles per hour. Now the good news here is that it is traveling so fast that it will most likely incinerate in the Earth's atmosphere. For those who may be interested in following the path of this asteroid, here is a bit of information. The approach of asteroid 2020 SW will occur at 7.18 a.m. Eastern Time on September the 24th. However, because of the asteroid's uncertain orbit, its closest approach may occur 24 minutes earlier or later than the anticipated time. As the asteroid approaches, it will begin to brighten. The asteroid will attain a visual magnitude of 13 to 13 and a half in the early morning, shortly before dawn. But if you are planning on observing its approach, you will need a 6 or 8 inch diameter telescope. The asteroid, which was first discovered on September the 18th from Mount Lemmon Observatory in Arizona, is about to enter Pisces. So if you happen to be awake before daylight, you may see a slowly moving object in the still darkened sky. Asteroid 2020 SW happens to be the one garnering most of the attention at this time because of its anticipated close approach. But NASA is actually tracking another asteroid that will collide with the Earth's orbit near the same date. This asteroid is dubbed 2020 RO and it is estimated to be between 193 and 426 feet wide. It will pass within hours of asteroid 2020 SW. This asteroid will be traveling at 26,000 miles per hour at a distance of 3.6 million miles. Although both of these asteroids are Apollo asteroids, meaning that they will cross Earth's orbit, neither of them are expected to impact the Earth. This past summer we witnessed several very close encounters with asteroids. On September the 14th, asteroid 2020 RF3 came within 57,000 miles of the Earth. And on August the 16th, asteroid 2020 QG came within only 5,800 miles of our planet becoming the closest asteroid on record to fly past the Earth without impact. As we enter into the fall equinox, space rock encounters just keep coming, with even more expected to pass between the last week of September and the first week of October. On September 29th, a giant 656-foot-wide asteroid will pass Earth at a distance of 1.78 million miles. The space visitor called 2020 PM7 is another one of those rocks that is comparable to ancient Egypt's Great Pyramid of Giza. Even though space agencies from around the world have chartered many of the asteroids that pass Earth, there remains many that are unknown. 
Last summer, an asteroid the size of a football field passed our planet without little warning. The asteroid, named 2019 OK, came within 40,400 miles of Earth on July the 24th, which was also the same day that it was discovered. At the time of its passage, it was the largest asteroid to venture close to the Earth in the past century. Fortunately for us, this will be the closest encounter of this asteroid for the next 200 years. The interesting increase in asteroid activity comes on the heels of a large asteroid discovery by an amateur astronomer from Brazil. The asteroid called 2020 QU6, measuring 3,280 feet wide, passed safely by the Earth on September the 10th. But this is a stark reminder to the world's space agencies that there are many asteroids out there that have yet to be detected. And one this large, having gone undetected until its passage, could have caused a global catastrophe if it had hit the Earth. The frequency and the numbers of close encounters with asteroids is continuing to increase from year to year. And with advanced technology, the number of near-Earth discoveries will continue. And although this may be a worrisome sign, the Earth's last encounter with an apocalyptic-scale asteroid was nearly 66 million years ago during the reign of the dinosaur. Even so, we must always be on guard for the dangers posed by incoming objects. As luck has it, the next big one is out there, heading our way, and it is a matter of when it will strike. 2020 could easily be called the year of the comet. Comets Atlas, Swan, and Neowise graced the sky this year, with the latter two becoming visible to the unaided eye. But this year is not yet over, and neither is the appearance of the comet. On September the 20th, the International Astronomical Union's Minor Planet Center announced the discovery of a new comet by one of its astronomers, Dr. Nicholas Aramis. The discovery was made from four 30-second exposures taken on September the 17th from the Atlas MLO telescope located in Mauna Loa, Hawaii. The new comet was named after its discoverer, and thus is designated C-2020 S3 Aramis. The comet will reach perihelion, which is the closest approach to the sun, on the 12th of December, where it will be at its brightest point. This comet is not expected to be visible to the naked eye. One note of interest here is that the South African Astronomical Observatory will be installing a new Atlas telescope in Sutherland, South Africa, in early 2021. The new telescope will be designed to search for incoming near-Earth asteroids, specifically those asteroids that are on a trajectory towards an impact or a close approach to Earth. The new telescope will be similar to the ones currently in operation in Mauna Loa. On September 22nd, an immense fireball scurried across the skies over northern Europe, creating such a bright light that it could be seen across six countries. The fireball was so intense that it prompted more than 120 people to report the phenomenon to the International Meteor Organization. Onlookers described the event as beautiful, like nothing they had seen before. One skywasher described it as having a long bluish tail. Another person said they had never seen anything so bright, clear, and close that lasted so long. Due to the length of time that it remained in the sky, some had believed it was part of the Starlink constellation. However, it was confirmed by the IMO as a space rock that entered Earth's atmosphere. It was reported that the fireball left a smoke trail, but that there was no sound. Thanks for watching, stay safe everyone, and remember to keep looking to the sky.